got, I have got to tell you, I have scheduled my son's nap times around the view. I love watching you guys every day. Thank you. That's great. A lot of women really love the show. And you know, a lot of times what will happen during the commercial breaks at the show is people ask us a lot of questions. What would be your question, Shaletta? I would want to ask you guys, why is it that you guys have such great chemistry? If I was sitting up there with three other women, I swear, between commercial breaks, somebody would get scratched or I'd have to pull their hair out. <laughs> After a couple of years, you've got to want to punch somebody. Well, you know, this year has been very, very cohesive. We're all getting along beautifully. There's no animosity whatsoever. Not that there really has ever been. You know, we're professionals. We go out there and, you know, we're, we're pretty much prepared for what's going to happen every single single day mm -hmm. psychologically yeah. you know the question that people always ask me during the commercial breaks though is how do I get there in the morning how does how does it all come together so that by the time we get there we're all very perky and fun and having a good time and thinking and so today I want to tell you some of my morning tips would you like to hear them Girl, please because I'm always 30 minutes late wherever I go I tell people if you want me to be there at 8 o'clock Tell me you need me at 7.30 so I can show up at 7.45. Okay, well, I, I think that you can really shorten that if you listen to what, what I do. Because I really cannot stand to prepare and to spend a lot of time in the morning. I, I really want last-minute things to happen. So the first thing that I do, very important, mm -hmm. do you have a husband? Yes, unfortunately. Okay, you got to get him to set the coffee timer the night before and fix the whole thing and get it all set. So in the morning, that thing just goes off and you get out of bed right away. You drink that coffee, you're right away, you're juiced up to keep going, okay? Yeah. Do you go to the gym? Uh... I'm supposed to. You're supposed to. Well, <laughs> me too, but I don't either. But for those of you out there who do go to the gym, I would say get that stuff together also the night before because you really don't want to be running around looking for a brassiere at 8 right. o'clock in the morning. Okay. Then you have to go into the shower. you got to do your hair thing. These are things that I happen to use. I use moisturizers, and my hair is very curly, so I need some frizzies in there in the morning, you know. And then... In order to think straight, I've got to have a decent breakfast in the morning. And I really don't have time to make a whole, you know, a whole long bacon and eggs and all of that stuff. So I have discovered this terrific product, Bagel Folds, okay? It's like a cream, it's a cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese mm -hmm. inside a bagel. And it's terrific. You throw it in the uh, toaster oven right. and you're set to go. Have a little fruit and you're fine until lunch. It's a fabulous new idea. So that's what I do. And I think it has cut down my morning time considerably. So maybe so, you could do that. So you were running late like me. I'm not the only one. Because people always give me the evil eye whenever I get somewhere. Like, she's always late. No, you are not the only one, Shaletta. There are many of us like you. Mm. Very few people actually have, like, two hours in the morning to sit around and, you know, kick a, kick a bagel around the house. <laughs> right, exactly. You, you don't have to. you got this breakfast now. <laughs> So, this, so these, these things really kind of help you get it together and get organized in the morning? They really do. They really do. All these little things that I do in the morning get me out of there. And then by the time I get to the show, I'm ready to rock and roll. And that's and, it. And, and tell me this. Tell me you guys always are so beautiful. I mean, you look so great on air. I know you do not walk in the studio like that. No, we do not. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, the truth of the matter is that we get some help uh, in looking this good, because otherwise no one would put me on in my natural state. Let's face facts. <laughs> and, you know, you have to always, you have to, uh, the only way you age gracefully in television is to die young. <laughs> so you have to always look good. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, exactly. Now, I've got to tell you, you are really a role model and someone to look up to for moms who are comedians like myself uh -huh. um, who have small kids and still get out there and get on stage and do the comedy even when other folks are telling you you need to be at home with that baby at night but you were able to make it work how'd you do that well it's, it's not easy i actually started my career almost in midlife you know i've only been out, i haven't been out as long as you would think considering how old i am <laughs> but i did start late and you can start being a comedian at any time in your life it's not something like a model where you have, have to you know be under 20 right and under 20 pounds yeah and under 20 pounds also mm -hmm. so you know you can start and you just have to get on stage wherever you are you're in Minneapolis you go yes. to a club where they have an open mic in Minneapolis and you go as much as you can and you leave the kid with the husband mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what you have to do you have to do it all the time get up 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 on that stage mm -hmm. and so what would you say is the key to your success I mean you went from you know, be it a secretary to a comedian, and now on, you know, one of the number one TV talk shows in America, you know, 
did you plan all this? Did you set out your goals? You know, there are a lot of women who are watching the show this morning, and they think, how did she do it? What's her secret to success? Well, I think that, you know, I was always sort of destined to do this sort of thing, but I didn't have the guts to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I reached a point where I just had to. I got a divorce. I got fired from my job. And I was like, oh, now what am I going to do? So that's when I started to do it because I, all of the obstacles had to disappear because I really didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what, how my story goes. But not everybody has the same story. I mean, there are plenty of people who start when they're 18. You know, but but I didn't, and I, I just you know I would say to women out there, there is no time limit on what you want to do with yourself in life. Just do it. And that is wonderful advice. I'm telling you, I've been stalking you guys for months now. You're, you've been uh, stalking us. Yeah, you're the one. Yeah, that's me. That's me. That keeps putting Sherry Shepard's tires on flat, and I, <laughs> I, you know, for some reason she keeps showing up at the studio. I think she's catching the bus or something because I know I put her tires on flat, but she keeps showing up <laughs> you're very trying funny. to take her place. Oh, you got a whole routine going there, Shaletta. <laughs> I'm trying to take a place. I really am. Because you guys have so much fun. And, you know, from one, one woman to another, we really enjoy you. And please keep doing what you're doing because we need you on television. Okay. Thank you so much. In the morning. Thank it's you so much. It's great to have you as a fan, Shaletta. Take care of yourself. Oh, you too. And have regards a great to day. Al Franken. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell him you said hello. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a wonderful woman. And a lot of tips for the women out there, too. Take charge, do what it is you want to do, and follow your dreams. Well, coming up next on Crossroads, we're going to introduce you to a company that's going to help you become the best leader you can be. Jay Cameron and Associates is after the break. Stay with us. is the only person in the Twin Cities who has been on the show at least four times. I don't think I've had a guest to repeat that many times, but she's always interesting, always empowering, and always has something of importance to say. Dr. Verna Cornelia Price is here uh, with us again on Crossroads for the fourth time. Thank you so much Thanks for being for on the program. Me. Thanks for having me. And you guys know Dr. Verna from a lot of her uh, nonprofit work, Girls in Action, mm -hmm. your work with domestic violence victims, marriage counseling, empowerment seminars, mm -hmm. running the gamut. But Dr. Verna is not an island unto herself. No, I'm not. She has a company called G J. Cameron and Associates. Yes, and Teresa Olson is here with us, uh, one of your worker bees, worker bees. another empowering oh, yeah. woman. Yes. Uh, now, tell me, Dr. Verna, what is J. Cameron and Associates? Because I thought it was just Dr. Verna, Girls in Action, Dr. Verna. <laughs> Super speaker, Dr. <laughs> Bernard, author, but you have a whole company. Tell I me have, about it. Yes, I have an entire consulting firm. It's a professional development consulting firm, and our um, goal really is to empower people to excellence. And we operate on a core concept of people need to understand their personal power and they need to understand their personal leadership. And so our goal really is to help organizations become more productive, increase morale.